we done been chatting, you know what I'm saying? And we done been kicking it. I ain't gonna say, you know, like. <laughs> oh, y'all was. I ain't gonna say kicking it. Oh, y'all was. I ain't seen them. We done had conversations. Y'all was on some grown up time. Yeah, we done had some grown up <laughs> <laughs> We men. Hell yeah, shit. Like you said, we men. We had some grown up time. You know how that go. You know how that go. You know how that go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. we had some grown up time. Poppin', it's your boy Mr. J Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So, look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yeah. You want a drink? You yeah. want a drink? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel, yes, sir. I feel right good here. as a motherfucker, mm-hmm. too. I might do a little cousin, man. I'm sorry. Are you good? All right. Just it's going to be one of them. Yeah, it got to be one of them. It's going to be one of them. You the beat. Beat, beat. Hey, yo. Uh, first of all, though, <laughs> you, 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 get your, you get your drink? I can't bear in gifts. You know Thank what I'm saying? You, man. A Thank you. Ain't no bullshit. Yeah. But I just want to get to the. I just want to get straight to it. I want to get straight to it. Straight to it. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm talking about like Amy? Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 not yet, okay. not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Jake McTain, no, 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 no. Bro, you full of shit. Nah, I like, really ain't. See, first, see, that's the thing. You gotta <laughs> ask people what's going on first. You feel what I'm saying? You have to ask. Fuck no. Huh? Hell no. Yeah, if I'm thinking about what you thinking about, then yeah, you gotta keep coming. Let me see. I th- you might be, cause we ain't, we ain't at Amy yet. Hey, come on, come you on. You feel the shit you cap. What I did, what I did wrong. I hit you a hundred times. Okay, exactly. Stop right there. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I already go ahead. know where you going. Go ahead, so go ahead. that's what I'm saying. See, you don't need a view, Amy. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So it's like at that time, man. I'm always, always been a networker. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I've been all, I done been around. Like, and that's really. A lot of me and how far I done came, just networking relationships that I done built and stuff like that. So when you sent the invite, man, I was ready to come up here and do an interview. You know what I'm saying? But just, you know, a lot of reasons with a lot of reasons with us having this solo interview mm-hmm. play a part in a lot of the reasons it didn't go down. You feel what I'm saying? Because it was just a, you know, just a lot going on. You know, she may not have felt like doing it at the time or you know that makes sense you feel me that makes sense yeah. if i ain't hit you about you yeah that makes sense if i ain't hit can you I, about can you. i can i get a little uh, so yeah yeah because yeah, i said i would count no, no 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 i'm still there though i said that makes sense if i if i didn't hit you about you i hit you about oh, no. you multiple you were hitting times us by us look at your dm so it always just been me no 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 i ain't say that I'm a man, I take my shit too. Okay, bitch. Initially it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I got down here, I was like, I'm trying to lock in with you, bro. I know what shit going on. I'm trying yeah, to lock in with you. Yeah, you, you de- And look, let me say this. I want to say this, declare that. Like, even with the, the, the situation, like I've been, I've been, I've been working, bro. There's been a lot. I'm ADD. I'm, I, I ain't, bro. <laughs> it, hey, I know it sounds crazy as hell, bro, but I have a lot going on and I have to move like, I move, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like I told you, God don't make no mistakes. So if you're going in the same path of, as I am, you know what I'm saying? Eventually we're gonna, we're gonna bump into each other. You feel me? 100%. And I'm not mad, but I, I do want the creators, podcasters, whoever, to learn from this because a lot of people take a lot of things personal. Because I'm just, I, I, I feel like we men, I, I feel like you're a man we could talk. So I can right. tell you my opinion too. Right. Not, we right. don't, we yeah, okay with yeah, that. Yeah, let me hear. I feel like, I, I thought, I'm like, it was, because if I was a bigger platform, you would have came faster, but that's okay. Because I just got to come harder. And I'm, I'm cool with that. Right. But to everybody else who, who might be DMing or emailing and you ain't getting the responses, just keep going. And what happens is, don't take it personal because this shit is all a business. I understand that. Let's be real. Let's keep it hundred. That's if you was a nigga with twenty followers hitting me, 
to interview with me, I probably would be, you get what I'm saying? I'd probably be just as stiff, just being real. And they're gonna be like, bro, Do you interview you? everybody? Nah. But that's why I said I ain't mad and I ain't taking it personal, but I did want to have that conversation on, on air because we go through it so much. I, I go through it, but right. I feel like people don't really see it. They see the, you said this. Ooh, I like this. You said, I'm smart. You like, I like this. You was like, um, it was like pregnancy. They see the, I don't know what the exact they word. See the baby, they see the, but they they see the blessing, the labor plan. but they ain't see the labor. <laughs> so like they see- I got different plies too. That was man. fire though. Yeah. So they see these interviews, they have no idea. I, I, I wish I want you to count the DMs that I sent you. Yeah. Cause I I ain't mad I ain't at it. Do that. But it, no, it's cool. I, I, ain't even it's, do that. I love yeah, it though no. because it's motivating somebody else. Cause you don't understand like, and even on the ones who you know on on my end, like I have I got a lot on my plate. You feel what I'm saying? So you know like my mental is important. You feel what I'm saying? So it ain't that I was trying to rush in and and if it was a situation where you was just hitting me. You feel what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure I could come correct as well. You feel what I'm saying? But you already I'm, did the small eyes shit though. Huh? You already did small eyes though. Oh, and you know, that yeah. ain't, I, man. But that's because his platform is something. But you want me to be honest? But his platform is big, but though. we can't disrespect be, it. You want me to be honest? Right now, I feel more comfortable just rocking out talking to you, though. You feel what I'm saying? On big the love. real. Big love. I swear to God. Like, nah, big love, big love. Now, it's like more of an inter inter interrogation yeah. room. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, I couldn't really just, it was a lot, I couldn't. Do this. Yeah, I get couldn't just chill and just. But I always want to have my um my my space like open and especially when I'm talking to men, because I feel like even even with ladies, I be wanting to have a real conversation. Right. So even if I, because we all human, right? Sometimes right. I might say something that might rub you wrong or like just my job my my job as a journalist, I gotta ask uncomfortable questions sometimes. Right. But right. I be I be wanting the space to be comfortable enough for somebody to even be like, nah, bro. You, like yeah, that's yeah, cool. Like we can. Different. I feel like we can communicate. Disagree and still communicate and still be just as good. Most amazing. definitely. Like that's why. I, that's why I opened up like that because I was like, bro, I'm a very understanding person myself, though. You know mm. what I'm saying? I see things both sides, both sides. Like, that's dope. Yeah. How you, man? Like, I don't even know. We gonna get to what everybody want to hear, right? We gonna get to that for sure. But you, you, you dropping a? Is it a tape? My tape just dropped today. You dropped the tape today. Um, for the. Just in case, we gonna drop this soon, but this is, uh, what is the 22nd? Yeah, the 22nd. 22nd, July 22nd, mm -hmm. TV just dropped, what's the name of it? Uh, Wire, I mean, I refuse to lose. That's the single you was about to say. Yeah, Wire D is the uh, visual that we just dropped July the 1st. That shit hard. Yeah, it said, uh, it's finna hit 100K, you know, it's at 93K right now, two weeks, solo, you know, by myself, so. That shit hard. Yeah, we finna hit 100. How that feel? You just. I, I be peeping the smallest thing solo. How that feel, bro? 93, almost about 100. How that feel? It feel great. You feel what I'm saying? It just feel good to know everything that I been putting in and all the work. You know, when I met Amy, I know we're going to get to that. Yeah, 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 but sure. when I got up here to Atlanta, my reason for coming to Atlanta was my music. You music. feel what I'm saying? I bumped into her. The first day I bumped into her, I gave her my CD. You feel me? So now be in the studio with an r and platinum producers, you know what I'm saying, that brought out all the major artists. You know, that's why I had to make sure I would wore the shirt in here today, trench work, because, like, when I, when, I, when I left that, that's all I had, my music. Facts. You feel me? So... To be able to, to know that people are starting to grow with me through my music, oh yeah, that feel good. Bro, but what about even, I know they growing with you through the music, but just you individually, right? It's like you've been four and a half, five years connected to something, connected to a relationship, a strong relationship, and you can drop a video and you about to do a hundred. I know that feel, it gotta feel good. Yeah. Come on. Like, yeah. It gotta feel good. Yeah, it do though. It do. I swear it do. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's working i'm just like i'm humble man like at the end of the day i still got work to do mm -hmm. you feel me i got another i got i'm trying to get a million views you feel what i'm saying but i'm very thankful for them 100, 100 views for everybody who done you know that played a part in them 100k views mm -hmm. but yeah man it's very it, it's surreal so how you to be here thank you how, how do you feel like just with everything not just the music i know you bless you you happy or, but how do you really feel? Like, how, like when you go home and you sit down, not the night when you drop the tape, y'all about to go to the club, niggas bumping your shit. 
that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that dopamine. That's that that shit Instagram gives us when we get a, a million views and shit like that. But how do you feel when nobody around outside of all that shit that's going good, like just with Mozzie? I feel great. Mm. Like on the real, don't get it twisted. It's a it's that missing piece, you know what I'm saying, that I feel, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I done been, I done did a lot of stuff by myself. You mm. feel me? Like I done did a whole lot by myself. I done went through the process by myself. So this one incident can't, it don't outweigh everything else that I done been through. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So I, my, you know, I got to keep my sanity. You feel me? And my mental, like I said, is most important. So I'm a loner. You know what I'm saying? Better almost by myself. You feel mm. me? Because I know how to move. I was, I was, you know, I was all the way into something that you know. I don't know. I don't know, you know, that side of it. But I was all the way in, so that's what I was thinking about. So now that I'm focused on self, it's like, shit, let's work. Conversation getting so good, bro. I'm fucking rude. What's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, <laughs> Mr. J Hill Network. You already know what the fuck this business is. Special interview today is one of them. What's wrong? Oh, it's one of them. The big one, not the little one. The biggest one. We've been work. We, listen, I've been trying to do this shit for a long time. Yeah. All you niggas out there that keep looking at the video and say, Jay this, Jay that. Nah, I take work for this. This shit don't be overnight, man. For real. This is, this is a, for real. a great example of that overnight work. The steps. You get what I'm saying? My nigga, Mozzie GA is in the motherfucking building. What up, dog? Man, Jay, what's ham? What's I appreciate hopping? you even welcoming me here the way you did, you know, even after, you know, Everything that happened, you know, I'm glad yeah. you don't feel no type of way. Fuck I'm glad no. you're a man about the situation. You feel what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Because I would have did the same thing at the end of the day. Because I know how stuff go. Like life is 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 real. The nerve of people, the audacity of motherfuckers. Sometimes, picture me taking the person when I know I got hundred DMs right now. Right. The hip, the hip, what is it? Hypocrisy, like hypocrisy. How do how do you say this shit? Hip hop, hip. Hypocrisy. Right. People like, sitting there trying to get an interview with you right now. Right now. And I'm going to be mad at a, a nigga that's doing the same thing I'm doing to somebody. Not even intentionally, but even if it was intentional, it was just like, niggas is working. And a lot of people don't even understand in life it happened like that. You feel me? Like, you'll miss, you'll miss that sometime. Uh, like, like, for you to see that, that's dope. Yeah. Like you said, you got hundreds of DMs. You know, if people do that, like they be ready to judge somebody else and it be some of the same shit same that you already, you doing the same shit. The same, niggas, niggas like niggas wake up, right? <laughs> if they brush their teeth and wash their ass, it's like they, they brush their teeth, wash their ass and they miss the mirror. Right. It's like they put a mirror in the right. bathroom for a reason. Like niggas, that reflection just be, yeah. I don't know, like niggas, it be the audacity of niggas. And you can call me a pretty boy, but. I pay attention to the mirror. Shit, I do. <laughs> 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 I, pay, I pay attention to that one. Yeah. Oh, for real. Hey, uh, big fan of you. Big fan of y'all. Just be honest, right? Right. Um, like I told Amy, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, um, 100% transparent and real about this. You guys, man, it, it it hit me, it hit me hard because, like, again, four and a half. Almost five years relationship, yeah. Gemini, Scorpio dynamic. It, yeah. It's real, bro. Yeah. And on top of that, though, just watching y'all grind, it was so different than all the other YouTubers couples. And it's big love to the YouTube couples because niggas is out here doing it. But y'all, and this is why I kind of ain't really agree with Amy on this. Like, y'all were niggas. Right. Like, y'all were like, she said, like, it was a lot of pressure to be perfect. And I feel like it was the opposite. Right. Because, like, y'all were like, that's what a relationship is. Man, you is. know how much I wanted to just let the camera roll and just not have to be so like because I'm the type of person, my energy, like it don't it don't feed good off of ready set go, uh, you know, keep like it's more uh you miss that. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I it was more like I wanted to keep the cameras rolling at I all. I feel time. like y'all did roll at during those some of those times. It might have been early, but I feel like we caught a, a lot of the like which not, was not and, arguments, and but like just just the even when y'all pranked each other, like the first, I, it might have been the first one you put in a slingshot. Like, yeah. I feel like you can't really fake that. Like that yeah. was like she was really pissed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> even a couple other pranks. You feel me? Like I just feel like that was real. Like it was like I didn't see pranks and like granted some of them cry, but it's just, it's cool. I don't, I don't <laughs> know how to explain it. It'd be like it'd be like kitty, be like young people shit, and it's that's cool. But I just feel like y'all were like 
relatable for me. If that we, 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 we very, both of us, we some very talented individuals. We both are very talented. Just say, I'm gonna just say that I ain't gonna get too deep into, you know what I'm saying, how you going, but we very, very, very talented yeah. individuals. And I thought, man, even just watching older fucking videos of like the Amy and Mozzie show when y'all was doing a, I think it was a live show, like, it, I don't know, it just hit different for me, to be right, honest. Like, cause right. I didn't watch the De'Aaron Kins. I didn't watch the, um. Not that lie. Uh, shit, uh, it was the, uh, the, the, the King family or some shit. Um, the, the brown skin guy with the light skin girl, they had like, 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 I didn't watch, like, I, I used to watch that, not, yeah. not watch it all the time, but yeah. I used to be intrigued into that shit. And it just was something about y'all energy. And I'm like, nah. That's one of them ones. That, 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 that podcast, you know what I'm saying? It was more, like live, you feel mm. what I'm saying? So it was like we couldn't <laughs> everything, and then we ain't on that good drink. We take a shot every time. So it's like she, you, you, you. you that's why her. I was so you know you you grew to it. But the YouTube man, we post that we post the. I don't know. We just couldn't. I don't know. It just did. I don't know. We did like certain things. It, it when it when it worked and we. Could get it to work, it worked, it did good, but for the most part, like, we bump heads a lot, you know what I'm saying? We both strong-minded, you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So, you know, if she wanted something done, and I may not have been feeling it, and I wanted to do it another way, it throw the vibe off a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? Like, well, not a little bit, like, all the way. And it's like, when you got a person that is kind of already established and got themselves, you know, situated, you know, it's a little more easy to say, you know, I ain't, I ain't got to do it. You feel me? Then you got me. I got to go and grind. I got to go out here and, you know, hustle everything. I'm a boss. Like I got my, I, I don't work for nobody. I ain't worked for nobody in over five years. You feel Congratulations me? Congratulations with the store too. Appreciate it. So it's like to know where I came from. It's like I'd be a fool to rush my process. You feel me? Bro, like I said, man, big fan. I ain't never been, um, never been shy like getting niggas that roses and just show my admiration for niggas, bro. That's just me, for real. So I say that to say, I'm definitely a big fan. It's, it's it's so many places I can start with this. The fact that like you a man, like I'm a man. So even though I, I interviewed Amy and she's definitely cool, definitely mad love and respect for her, but it's it's different because I'm a man too. Right. You know, so right. I can empathize and understand, right. but I'm a man, so right. I get. What right. men go through. Um, that's the aspect we're gonna talk about. That another aspect of just being a fan is just talking about the content that y'all got. Matter of fact, speaking of that, hey, can we do some YouTube shit real quick? Some fan shit real quick. Fan moment. Look, what they gotta do? I need all my subscribers to what like like, comment, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification. Don't forget to ring that bell. What they gotta do? You gotta <laughs> ring that bell. <laughs> ring that bell. That bell. <sighs> No Ring cap. Nah, that was one of my favorite things, man. Yes, definitely. Sir. I definitely I show love. I ain't never Most been that afraid to show yeah, nigga love. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. it. You see me on the street, and show me love. I wanna say this. I wanna say this though, like, cause you know, when the situation happened, I was kind of staying away from everything that was, you know, that she had going on, you know what I'm saying? But after reaching back out to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, bro was reaching out during that time, you know what I'm saying? So if 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 he up for it, let's do it. You feel me? Okay, we here. So like I want to say just watching that interview of y'all, man, you you got it. You I know what I'm saying? That. Like when I sent, like it was, it was a no brainer to come up here and do an interview with you. You feel I what I'm saying? That for real, man. Oh, Thank you me. going? You 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 big? You big, my boy? We gonna we gonna do it. Then what happens? Gonna be like you gonna be like I was talking to somebody yesterday about this. You gonna be like the next Jay Z, Nas, and shit. And then like I'm gonna be the next whoever. And then I'm gonna we gonna just do it again. Well, you you <laughs> we gonna just do the interview again. About like break uh, breakfast. Yeah, club, breakfast, bro, I mean, breakfast uh, club, cool. But I ain't talking about this one. I'm talking about you as uh, if one is you oh, yeah. wanted to be. I ain't well, talking some, about the three of them. I'm talking about you yeah, and one. Yeah, it's going to be some J-Hill and Mozzie shit. You yeah, feel me? Mozzie going to be. Most we're definitely. Gonna, we're going to run it back 10 years. That's gonna be exactly crazy, where like, I'm going right no now, cap. man. I want to give up. Before we get in the first, let me give a big shout out to Nard and B, man. Nard and B, trench work. I got to. Can, <laughs> let's, let's stay there for a second then. Because when I hear you speak on them, you definitely show love, but I feel like we get so sucked into our region. And what I mean by that is you speak on them as if like, like, yeah, they, um, 
I don't want to say not Grammy nominated. They, they won a lot of like they got a lot of accolades under that belt. Yeah, they work with a lot of big artists. They got a lot of platinum plaques. A lot of platinum plaques. Future Migos. The, thank you for the ones that don't know. Can we go into a little details about who you working with? Because I don't think niggas really understand. Let's not breeze past that. Yeah, man. What songs they worked on with the artists they worked on? That Migos that Mama told me yeah, not, not to sell, sell work. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, purple, you know, Dirty uh, Monster mm-hmm. with Future, Dirty Sprite. They got a man. They got a catalog of Spooty from up here. Atlanta legends, man. Mm-hmm. Man, we were actually went to St- Stankonia for Music Mondays uh, not too long ago. I heard about it. They said that shit was crazy. Like standing thank o- y'all, standing thank, ovation type vibes. Thank. Thank you to all of the coalition DJs as well, man, for real. But I could just see it was like a, almost a red carpet, though. You feel what I'm saying? Because with Nard and B them being who they is, they it was like everybody was almost like, what they got going on? What they what they got in the clutch? What mm-hmm. they doing? You feel what I'm saying? So just to see that, it was like, man, you know, I was taking all that in. Like this was this legendary moment I'm living in right now. You feel me? How long? I feel like y'all been locked in for a little while now, or about two years. Yeah. How how, how did that even how happen? How did that come? Man, about? I, you know, just throughout the work of the relationship. Mm. Like I say, my passion always been music. Mm. So even through that, I hit, I used to hit the studio and do songs, and then eventually I get enough songs and I drop me a project. And just recently, like the, the, the last two years ago, I dropped one of them, my last take, one of them. And B hit me, he, he hit me out of nowhere like, man, I ain't even know you did music, you know what I'm saying? Come down to the <laughs> studio. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I show Lulu, you know who I come to first, you know? Lulu. Yeah, facts. Look, yeah, it, 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 this is what it is. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I got out in there, I didn't even know what was going on. We just went to having a conversation, and um, I'm just thinking we just, like, a, it's just a little, you know, introduction. Mm-hmm. I mean, they say, go on, sit right there real quick. <laughs> sit right there real quick. Put them headphones on and just go. And, mm. and I was like the Lord, I was at the bottom of the, you know what I'm saying, the bottom of the bottom then, because they had a few other artists that they was, you know, working with at the time. You feel what I'm saying? But I just stayed consistent. As long as they told me to come, I was coming. That's it, a big deal. That's a big deal. They took me under their arms. You know, I do want to say that. It ain't no, you know, it's all love. Trench work, they actually had, they got a lot of videos. Yes. Right? Yes. That's trench, a- trench work is like, like Northern B, when you hear Northern B, trench work, like that's them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's that that's what Northern B just explains the two individuals, I would say, and trench work would explain like their brand, their business, what they produce. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Like okay. we in the trenches making sure. So this it's not work. two different entities, it's just one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cause it's I two, see it. it's it it's it it all play under the same umbrella though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't know. I know I see I see trench work a lot when I see like videos. When they want you to know trench work, when you know Northern B though. Okay, all right, all right, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. So, easing our way into it, right? I want to talk about distractions. Mm-hmm. You said you dropped your last project two years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. One of them. I apologize for saying my last project. Okay. The project that I had dropped when he reached out to me. Okay. Cause it. Do you feel like sometimes you can get so submerged in a relationship that you do get distracted though? Yeah. Me, of course, because I'm kind of a hands-on type of guy, so I be wanting to make sure, you know, everything, like everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I got to make sure you good, you know, it's like I have to make sure you good before I can almost do anything, you feel what I'm saying? I so, just, I ain't mean to No, you good, no, you feel, you, you. So, again, not to like, overfill you with roses I don't want it to seem ingenuine because I really mean it but it's I'm happy that the music is actually good because it just makes for a better interview just being honest right. I can really mean what I say right you you good at this shit bro yeah I just feel like what I'm hearing now maybe because I haven't been paying that much attention to the music because I was I was um entertained by the relationship right and the YouTube stuff but I just feel like what I hear now isn't um isn't what uh I was hearing it ain't back then. I it just ain't. feel like I wasn't that wasn't that. 
it wasn't at all like like I, like I said, I done had two years artist development with Nora to be. It ain't Facts. just been going to the studio, just you know, going in the studio doing whatever. It's like these folks are guiding me and coaching me. Like these the same people that got futures and uh, meet like like Facts. I've been in the studio with them, so it's a process. I don't just get in there. You know, I pretty much have like the feel of the, know what I'm gonna talk about, but they helped me a lot. Like mm. it was a, a artist development process. Talk to me about the distractions, man. Like, how do you get distracted in a relationship? How how easy it is to get distracted? Just tell me about what you even think about it now, coming out of a relationship and and seeing the music, you seeing the success behind the music, you seeing the the attraction to the music. But talk to me about it. Because at the end of the day, man, me myself personally, I know, like I focus on the love and the loyalty. You feel what I'm saying? So I know, long as we got that, you feel me. The money gonna come, you feel me? Just like it did, you feel me? Like at the end of the day, if you ain't happy, shit, we the, the relationship can't be happy, you feel me? Okay. And if you ain't happy, my focus is making you happy. How to make you happy? Right. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? And even with that process, sometimes it may not be as fast as you expect. So that you not being happy still be there, you feel me? And it just build up. You feel me? So any any little thing that can happen or any failure or any, you know, stumble, you know, it's like, ah, oh, you so feel me? You think you was easily distracted and making your partner happy that you could kind of like forget about yourself? Yeah. Yeah. And not just saying making my partner happy, it was just focus on the relationship, what got me to where I was at. You know what I'm saying? Because without the relationship, you know, I can't say what, what it'll be. You know, cause like you, like a lot of people that watch, they they in tune from the relationship and what we represented. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, the money came, but it was off of the relationship. I pause because you know it's so unfortunate that that's what it gotta be, or that's what it feel like it gotta be, because I feel like. Um, and not to dive too deep in y'all business again, because we ain't even get there yet, but I feel like you could kind of see that she was focused on, she was she never lost sight of her dream. Right. Right? Well, no, not true. Because recently she just said to me her dream wasn't to be the biggest female artist. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once the money came, she kind of did mm. lose sight of her dream. Okay, okay. Well, outside of that, not adding her into it. Well, what I can say is I feel like I can relate, like, well, nah. I feel like I'm one of the few that can't relate. I'm gonna tell you why. Right. And I think this has a, a, a toll, it has had a toll on my relationship a few times because, sorry, babe, nothing comes before this. And I feel like my girl can feel it. And sometimes I wish it could be different, but it's something about this. I don't know. I'm being real. Like it's something about what I'm doing, my purpose behind it, talking to people, just understanding what they're going through, being able to to help other people. You know what I'm saying? So I say I can't relate respectfully because nothing gonna come between this. But I can see how the toll it has on my relationship. I feel you now, because mm. I lost the that side of it was like that side of me. I took a gamble with you feel me, but I know myself don't nothing like my music. Now, now it's like, oh, I know for sure my music is like what it is, and I won't let nothing come between that. You know, you know what I'm saying? No more. Mm. But at the end of the day, like my like, when you when you come to someone and you saying I do, it's like so that meaning these folks gonna say through sick, po, uh, with a health, what it, how they say it through help through. Sickness and hell do us, do us part. All that, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, if the focus is not so much on getting the relationship right, and it's more of just being happy and just appreciating each other, you know what I'm saying? Then it wouldn't be a problem to focus on your careers, but it's like when you got, when the relationship ain't all the way together, and yeah, you might be, like in the verge of like, oh, this is my career I'm focusing on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like it all, and let me say this, I'm sorry. 
because I know when I watched that interview, I heard the word faith and it just wasn't used right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that play a big part in everything, you know, faith. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because even waking up, you know, the, in the morning, you got to have faith. You going to sleep that hey, you going to breathe, you going to open your eyes and wake back up. You know what I'm saying? So just with the relationship, if you got faith in somebody that you say you love and you want to be with, then, hey, just because they don't get what you get at the time doesn't mean they process, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to they ain't gonna be successful mm -hmm. you know it's just god's speed it's they speed they can't i can't rush my process mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying no i only bring it up because like i can't and again i you can correct me anytime I'm wrong i just i i kind of could feel what you said you said like kind of got lost in it and i could feel it because like just hearing your music now i'm like bro i just feel like if you poured into it for five years like the shit is good like i'm just being real like the shit is good bro like Straight Thank up. Thank you, brother. And, Thank you. And I, when I'm talking to you, it, part of me feels, I don't want to say bad, but it's just like, I don't know. It's, I, can, I, can, I can feel your pain, kind of. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. like, damn, man, like, how do you lose your, how do, how do you get so far away from the goal trying to please somebody or whatever that you forget about yourself? Because sometimes we do it. Like, I think it's, I, what, I'm, what the conversation I'm trying to have is, I think it's normal amongst men. That's what I think. And how, and how do we, where do we go wrong with that? Like, where do we forget about ourselves? Where do we lose the love for ourselves trying to fill somebody else's cup? Me. No matter if it's a girl, it don't have to be a girl. It, don't, it could be anybody, but like, where do we, where do we go it's left? It's almost at? like me knowing where I'm going in life and me wanting you to come with me. You feel me? So it's like the time of me where I should probably be focusing on myself. I'm like, just, just relax. I'm, I got, I got this. Mm. You gotta trust it. You feel me? But that time of doing that is them little days and them weeks that go by and you, you know what I'm saying? You Facts. missing out on your time, you feel me? But it's just me wanting to see you win with me, you feel what I'm saying? But that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Let me ask you this then. Not on my Vlad shit, but almost kind of like, right? You had, you saw a relationship stick together, your parents. Your moms and your stepdad. And my grandma and grandpa. And grand yeah. So you saw that. What's different? Because I, I I didn't see that. I came from a single parent household. So I really don't know how to love, to be honest. To right. keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't even know which way to go. Which way is right. You feel me? Right. You saw it. Right. What What did you learn from your parents and your grandparents that might have helped the relationship go forward that you probably think that the other part ain't see? The other party ain't see? It was just a lot of sticking together like it wasn't it like it was a lot of arguments it was so many arguments today joke it, it was joking arguments like let's get let's let's joke an argument get it out the way so we can be good you know what i'm saying it's it's almost crazy how the the, the bond and the connection is from people who feel like they know they're gonna be together forever and i can only speak right now i'm speaking on my grandmother and my granddaddy you feel what i'm saying because that's really who i was you know once i got of age to just do what I want to do. Like, they was the one who had me under their wing. So, just to see how they work together, you know what I'm saying? It was just, I don't know, man. It was just the love that they had for each other. I don't know. So, what do you it think? It couldn't even be explained almost. So, okay. So, stepping out. So, now that you're outside of your situation, right? Y'all broke up. Where do you think y'all went wrong seeing what went, went right? Um... You good. Um, I would say, I want to say, I want to say this, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it, it got a lot to do with me, you feel what I'm saying? Like, for as just my lifestyle and the things that I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mental of why the, the choices that I make. I can't explain the choices that I make. Like what? What choices? What you mean? Whatever choice, like like the decisions that I make out of life. That make, hell, even to the first few questions of you asking me about an interview, you feel me? And me, it not happening then. You feel me? Like I believe in God, so I don't. I make my moves as such. I walk in faith. You feel what I'm saying? So what my heart desire, you know, I can't. 
I can't move for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like what my heart desire is like what I'm going through now is I'm noticing noticing it even more and more that it was almost like a a, a, a process, like um, it, it was supposed to happen. Mm. You know, because when I hear a lot about the Bible, you feel me, and I'm, you know, it's just, it just come with a lot of getting beat down, torn, like turning the cheek. You know, I usually look at that and like, what the fuck? You motherfucker slap you and you turn the cheek. But now nah, with life, you know, where you trying to get places that you never been before, it take that. You know what I'm saying? It take stand down and, you know, like, going through a lot of situations that a lot of people may not can fathom, you feel me? Especially not coming from where, where I come from. And I can't speak for everybody else, I can only speak for me, especially when you got the heart of giving. That's me, that's another big thing about me, like I give, anybody around me, anything we do, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy it, you feel what I'm saying? So I don't, money I'm not, money don't, Term, like money don't just make me. Money don't make me. Mm. Nah, I live life. Yeah. We I, talked about that kind of when you like you like a free spirit kind of. Yeah, yeah. I live life. Don't get it twisted. I'm a hustler. So whatever I'm doing, almost definitely it's got something to do with my future. What I'm trying. What I, what I got going on in the future or my business or me tr- tr- making it. My making it process, I don't, I don't like saying trying. My making it process, everything I do is for my making it process. You feel me? For sure. So, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of black men that done been through what I done been through. Man, I, man I'm the one thankful for well I'm at. And how do you think that, how do you think that, like, how do you think that um, impacted the relationship in a negative way though? Like, cause you said it was, you kind of like you blaming yourself for it or a lot of it. And I ain't gonna just say blaming myself, but me just not rushing. Yeah, I'm taking accountability. Cause I don't, I'm not rushing anything. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like patience is a virtue. When they say that, it's it's for real. You know what I'm saying? When you building something, when you building an empire, it take time. The relationship we talking about only took, only was four and a half years. I just heard uh, you know, Rick Ross, he just, I don't know why, but, you know, it, I just heard a post him building any empire. It take 10 years At least or 10 better. Years. At least 10 years. So in four and a half years to be able to build with some, you know, build something what I built with somebody, it just let me know that the energy that I brought to the situation, I'm capable of doing such, you know what I'm saying? So it's just not that I got to do it solo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I ain't saying what it ain't, what can't happen in the future, but right now, Yes, Do you sir. feel like um, how hard is it being a, a man in a relationship, especially with somebody? Because like you, like you, y'all both said like y'all both was too strong here individuals, yeah. right? Do you sometimes feel like you allowed yourself to get caught up in a lot of arguments that you shouldn't because you was a man? Does that make sense? Like yeah. sometimes, because I feel like sometimes as men we feel like when there's an argument, it's supposed to be like you know what they say: happy wife, happy life. Just let her, let, her, let her have it. Do you feel like sometimes you was getting caught up in an argument and not letting her have it? And just getting caught up in a passion behind your feelings, behind whatever that was going on? That too. Yeah, I can say that too. Because it's like I stand on me and everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? So the same way I'm passionate about what I'm telling you about my making the process and me not finna do nothing. Like I done did the street life. I done took the risk. I done built. I done built the platform for myself. Nah, I don't. I, I. I shouldn't have to take as many risks. You feel what I'm saying? Especially not when you done built something with an individual. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I was looking at it in a different way. She was looking at it. Mm-hmm. I was looking at it. Everything that we did, it come from us. Mm-hmm. She look at it. Everything we we did, what she gained mm-hmm. from it was hers, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. That imbalance. I asked you these questions because like I was I was talking to her and I was saying I could relate a lot with her because she's a Gemini, I'm a Gemini, you're a Scorpio, my girl is Scorpio, but I feel like I, I can learn a lot from you. One, because you're a man, and two, I know they say like the uh, signs and shit don't matter, but I feel like a lot of people do have similar quality traits. Yeah, yeah. And 
you being a man, a Scorpio man, I feel like I can learn a lot from you because sometimes I get lost in that, to be honest. Sometimes right. I get lost in the, okay, I'm pouring into you. What are, what am I getting back in return, right? Or, and she, my girl would say like, you know, she'll come to a situation and she'd be like, you know, we this, we that. And I'm like, well, I'm doing this. What are you doing, right? And like, that's that selfish mentality. I'm not trying to be selfish, but I think that's just how I measure things. And I'm trying to learn from you, right? Like maybe your mistakes or some things that you didn't, that you wasn't happy with. And I'm trying to learn through that situation. That's why I'm asking you these questions. And you say like she was basically being selfish in her her ownership of things, yeah. and you was looking at it like it was us. Yeah. What happened? It's dead. It's fine. It's cool. It's dead. Um, but yeah, like that's why I'm like, damn. Like, how did that make you feel in those moments? In the moment, like that. That's what made me want to, you know, like. That's what made this time not as hard, cause it made me think about like, mm. damn, she all rich, she like she for self, you know what I'm saying? It ain't more of like, cause with everything I got going on, even with the produce, you know, with Nardi B, the platinum producers, like it's a lot of stuff that I feel like should have took place, you know what I'm saying? That didn't, you know what I'm saying? And I want to get to it because I know a lot of people like they they like what you feel like you deserve yeah you go deserve ahead speak this and you. deserve that you know what I'm saying I want to get into the fact that you know we met yeah uh Amen you know she had eight thousand saved I had a job you know I had three four you know thousand saved probably not even that much twenty five hundred whatever but I had a crib you know three bedroom apartment you know I mean not apartment a house and um. We, we we once we got together, you know, like we locked in. After that video we made, we went to the crib. We you know, did, and every in a, a year and a half, we ain't separate. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, I apologize for that. So you it's could. like <laughs> everything we did, we invested in each other from the videos, like. From the from the from the from the videos that people seen that was funny, all this. Like everything we did, we invested. So Lulu, she did hair. I knew that. Shit, I had a sister that had a hair vendor. Yeah, you said you answered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, well shit, if my girl do hair, hell, let me get that vendor for my sister, cause I already know that this grade eight and top five hair. Get him a girl. So shit, we out pushing, you know what I'm saying? Driving around selling hair hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? I got the strap everything, you know, just in case we in Atlanta, you yeah. feel me? So, you know, uh, then it go from that to like, man, we tired of this hand in hand shit cause we is building a name at this point through the videos, you feel me? So it's like, shit, we, we, we actually lights went off. It was hard times and she did think of like, she woke up, my I thought about it. I'm finna, I'm finna sell the vendor. Uh, you know, I'm gonna sell it for 200. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, like, so, so, and so, so. So that night we went to sleep. She put her cash up, up put the vendor info, well, not the vendor information, but just told them what they needed to do. Man, I be damn, we woke up 10, 20, 30. But you feel what I'm saying? Like, that bitch going up. But at the same time, it was like they going up through video. Like, you gotta understand. A lot of these big businesses out here, you know, that you see that pay for advertisement. You feel me? It's like these these people play top dollar YouTubers. Like, you know, YouTube, they play good money. Mm -hmm. That's because these businesses is paying them yeah. to advertise On their it. brand. Mm -hmm. So when you got two people that got a product or you can say, well, one person, her, who got a hair vendor, what every almost black woman in America need. You feel what I'm saying? It's like. And you got funny videos we putting out that's building falling, building traction, building uh, interactions and all this. And you seeing the quality of the hair good. You seeing all, why am I not gonna buy this hair? Mm -hmm. We got everything in house that, you know what I'm saying? Hell, we we, we, we making it. Hell, we do a video, I put on a weed, you, you, she like make 15K. Am I getting something off of this at the time? No, you know what I'm saying? But I, I can say, situations like far as my credit my credit game you know what i'm saying good you know I, i've been working on it not it's done got up to par because that's something i've been focus, focusing on but then it wasn't so yeah vehicle in your name yeah you do that you know what i'm saying um 
you know, the things that had your name in it, shit, credit had a lot to do with this. That ain't got nothing to do with me not paying my end of it. It ain't like a nigga just leeching off of you. You feel me? No, my brand, my YouTube, my portion of YouTube, my, um, cause I sell my vendor as well, my clothing vendor, my clothing vendor sell. So it's like, I'm still there. It ain't like a, no, I'm not, you ain't giving me nothing. Everything that I did, I done worked for. Mm -hmm. But if you can't stay down enough, you know what I'm saying? You know, like it's the, pro I don't know, man. It's just with it, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's just, hey. It, so do you feel like you didn't really get nothing out of the investment that you made, that you put in? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't at all. So let me ask you this then. Let's, let's switch it. Um, uh, for, for the sake of respect, let's just say she gave you a vendor. You sold a vendor. Let's just say vice versa. And you sold it and you made the bread. What would you give her? I guess. Like what, how, how would you, what would you would like to, to, to feel good, to feel like you got something out of it that feel like you ain't just leave empty handed. I'm saying it wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be just no, what would I give her? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? it will be what we what we do like of course you 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 we together you straight like i'm gonna break you off i'm gonna you gonna have you gonna have some bread okay you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna so it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be no issue okay we the get hell you one of the reasons this shit working like it is you know what i'm saying okay. if it wasn't if it if it wasn't a you know it, it wouldn't even work damn so you feel like when when shit broke up, it it wasn't like a, a split or anything. It just was not like, even when it. it broke up. I'm talking about from the jump. So you how would you? That's what I'm asking. So let's switch it. How would you handle it? if you if you if if she gave you the vendor, you give me your business plan. How would you handle it? Like how would you how would you want it to be done? On your end, I can't I, see me. I'm different. Like I told you, money is not my main focus. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty and just having something that I can, you know, trust. Something that I can build with is the biggest thing for me. So, like, whatever is mine is yours if we in this together. You know what I'm saying? So, you will have the bank account. You feel what I'm saying? Of course, ain't nothing going to go, like, can't nothing move without us conversating. But you got just as much access as I do. And you feel like you didn't get that? Oh no, nah. damn! But it's cool because it, that 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 helped me to you know my brand Black Love. You know, shout shout out to Black Love. I just uh, opened up my store. You know what I'm saying on the South Side, Riverdale, fifty four forty nine Riverdale Road. But um, around that time of you know creating the vending and all that, like I started my Black Love business. You feel what I'm saying? Um, because for one. I'm for my culture, I'm for my people, you know, like the people that done went through the same things that me and some people that's around me go through, you know what I'm saying? So that's where black love come from. And, you know, being that the relationship, hold my own trouble. <laughs> fact, and being that the relationship, you know what I'm saying, was how it was, it was like, it only made sense. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, like me making my money, Man, I have to go up north. I go up. I go up north. I go. Got, I go grab me some shirt. Well, I start out with one shirt. Go grab me one shirt. Press it up. Post it. You know, I ain't even have all the shirts. I put it on the website. People started ordering. I go to the warehouse. Start pressing up shirts. You know what I'm saying? The pressing process. Go get the shirts. Go get the vinyl. Come back. Get, uh, cut it out. Print it. Mm -hmm. Press it. Shit, like it's a whole process. It's a, whole process. Like, it's a <laughs> lot going it's a lot. on. Gas, time, like, and I wasn't tripping on that because I'm a hustler, like I said, and I'm ADD, so I was loving it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? To be able to have my own thing going on, you know, focusing on me. I got my business. I done came from the streets. I'm transitioning. I'm still doing my music, and I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, I'm good. I'm working. Everything, everything. But through the process, we lead from. Paying 375. We got a roommate. Let me say this. We got a roommate. We got a roommate. So the we we only paying 375 a month. The vendor hit, it goes from us being in an apartment to let's move to the condo. Who idea was that? 
Shit, it wasn't the motherfucker who ain't, ain't had no money. <laughs> I ain't had that type of money, shit. Yeah, I'm finna move to a condo for. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But it's I got you. This us. Are we straight? Well, I ain't gonna hold us bite. We is growing. I was following growing. Motherfuckers asking about us. We, we going somewhere in life. Let's go. Let's do it. From there, this is, this is a year. I don't know what y'all know if, about moving. But this one year in apartment, the next year in a one bedroom condo, the next year in a two bedroom condo, and the next year in a fucking mansion. I don't know how y'all live feel, but hey, I ain't it never seen like that. it like that. Don't worry, nah, like, don't worry like that. Come on now. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, just to do all that and me, like, hell, it was a fast process for me. And like I say, I'm I, I'm a giver. Everything we did, that car that I had was, I ain't give a damn about that car. You feel what I'm saying? We spending. We, it's us. We building. We growing. Let's let's keep doing what we doing, and join each other. Cause it look like that's what's bit growing us. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, business like business been a bit like it, it, the love. It wasn't more, it, it wasn't the relationship no more. It wasn't the vibe that everybody seen no more. You feel what I'm saying? It was more now nah, the business. Which the business is cool, but don't forget the business go along with the relationship. Mm. Even with up new products, hell, I'm in all I'm in all the the, the commercials or the, all the advertisement. Mozzie coming in there saying what he's saying and doing what he's doing, turned it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm listening and I'm taking my time with it because, again, I can relate, but like on her side because it's like I guess if she had the vent, if she had the money play, right? Or well, the play to make the money, the play to make the move us on up, right? Sometimes you can get caught up in, and I'm not trying, not trying to take her side, but I just can understand, and that's what I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to listen because I get caught up in that because I feel like I got the play, I got the, I got the idea that's gonna take us out of here. So sometimes I can overlook the love, right? Because I'm trying to, I'm focused on a bigger goal to get us up out of here. And I don't mean to overlook the love. I know that we need to be, we need to cherish each other. We need to nurture each other. You know what I'm saying? I can't just be looking for nurturing from you. I got to nurture you as well. But sometimes I'm like, man, what's going to nurture us is not being in this motherfucking hood. What's going to nurture us is being able to eat what the fuck you want. What's going to nurture us is being able to pay these bills. That's why I'm listening to you because I'm like, damn, it's another part of it. Dang. How do you balance that out? And you and That ain't so much of the nurture though. You know what I'm saying? Not. For me, the nurture is meant like, you know, because a lot of people get caught up, you know, the goal is to be successful, of course. You feel what I'm saying? But you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta keep who you is in that process. You feel what I'm saying? You can't just get all the success and that's how people change. You know, like they forget about them being in them shoe that the shoes that somebody else was in. You feel me? Like I say, you can't be a work a, a, a boss to your a worker or a mm -hmm. runner Facts. because it's like when you become the boss you think you just sit around and just run people crazy no you 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 become a boss because you know the process of running you know uh, sometimes i said this in an interview before sometimes some running ain't necessary you feel what i'm saying you gotta learn how to work smarter not harder you gotta work, work smarter not harder so like even with you saying how you invested in the business or what's gonna get us right, the nurturing. It's a lot more to it, the nurture, than you think it is when it comes, when you got a piece, when you got somebody that's your piece or somebody that's, you know, that's there for you, no matter what, through everything. Like a lot of people miss out on a lot of, you know, a miss out on that. Cause they focused on the goal, you know, and it's cool to focus on the goal, but you can't miss out on the, the important ones around you. Mm, like play what's those, in the moment. A lot of times those we, get, parts. we get, we overlook what's in the moment looking ahead. We looking yeah, too far ahead, we miss yeah, what's in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you gotta, you gotta, uh, that's what some, uh, my OG told me at the barbershop, the Jews in the journey. Mm. Sometimes you'll get so caught up in trying to get to where you're going, you'll miss the Jews and you get there and then one slip up or one anything, and it's like, damn, you ain't got. It. It's like you, you you racing to the water to get out the dirt, but you missing the diamonds that's in the dirt. You get what I'm saying? Right. So 100%. Um, I'm going to ask you this. 
um, and again, this conversation is going to be a lot different from me and her conversation, but again, because we men. Right. And um, I'm just curious, what do you think you need from love to be loved as a man? Loyalty, man. I done seen that. My thing now, loyalty come with love. You feel me? It's like, it ain't just the love. It's, 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 it's the loyalty. I want to ask you about a uh, video. I'm going to play this video for you. I want to get your uh, yeah, opinion on that shit. I'm going to put it on the, on the screen so y'all can see too. I was curious. Somebody sent me this video and I was like, it's interesting, but I want to hear your opinion first. I know, I'm pretty sure you heard it. What you think about that? I like that. What you think about it? It's dope because it's like she it, she basically saying what I take out of it. It's like she give she give her man her opinion and the things that you know she feel you know that he should do or you know the adjustments that he should make you know and she trusts him enough to you know make those decisions and do what's needed done to make you know. For us to the win, you feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's it's like I'm not arguing, I'm not causing any confusion with my husband and making him overthink or you know he already fighting the world or whatever else he got going on. I gotta be his, you know, like yeah, that's what I got out of that. You know, when I heard it, first thing I thought was like, you know, we here these ladies make these statements and a lot of men we jump on it like damn that's fire that's what I want that's what I want that's what I want that's what I want and <clears throat> I just had a uh, like a conversation with my girl the other day we was arguing actually and um I was telling her what I wanted and she told me she wanted the same thing and what I said was I was like man I just like I am so hard on you sometimes, but I just want you to make me soft. Like I want, I want when I come in the house and I'm upset, I want you to be the one that's the soft voice that can show me how to love, that can show me how to to be soft and gentle and things like that. And she was like, I need the same thing. And when she said that, I had to stop, and I'm like, damn. The first thing that came to my mind was maybe we ain't meant to be for each other. Right? That's the first thing I thought. I'm like, well, clearly I need somebody that's going to be that for me. All right. But I don't even know how to do that. So we got to be that for each other. And I say that to say, like, I feel like sometimes in African-American culture, we don't really know how to love because we ain't seen it. Right. So we asking for it. We asking from somebody else, but we don't even know how to give. So how can I ask you for something? I don't even know how to give to not only you, myself. Right. And I'm like, bro, I think. I really think that's what we fuck up in love. We looking for something that we don't even know how to do. Before we can love somebody else, we really, and this is not cliche. This, I feel like we say this shit so many times and it's cliche. You gotta yeah. love yourself, love yourself. Nah, we really gotta sit back and understand how to give what we asking for. You said something that, that, that stood out to me. You was like the golden rule. What's the golden rule? Treat people like you wanna be treated. I don't think that's true. You know why? Wow. Because if I'm treating you like I want to be treated, I'm unconsciously giving you the love that you're not asking for. If I'm treating you like I want to, I want to be treated, that's a selfish statement. I'm treating you like I want to be treated. I need to treat you like you want to be treated. Because that's the only way you're going to feel the love that's going to, that's the only way you're going to be able to feel the love. And I, I, I sat back and I thought about it like, damn, picture like, picture somebody treating your house the way they treat their house. And their house a fucking mess. Don't treat my house like you treat your house. You dirty, fucking, filthy motherfucker. Right, right. I'm clean. Treat right. my shit the way I want to be treated. Right. Same with love. Right. And I was just thinking, I'm like, damn, bro. I think sometimes, not you, not y'all. No, no. I think I think we go wrong using that golden rule. Yeah. And that's why I, um, I was thinking about the video. I'm like, damn. Like, I feel like in order for me to get that for my girl, I need to get that. I need to display that. But I don't even know how to. But even with that, 
Like like she said, she need that. You feel me? You wanted that. Mm. So it, 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 it like it's still you treating someone. It, it, maybe not how you want to be treated or how you need to be treated. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it still <laughs> kind of works in its way. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, nah, we ain't going to say the nasty person who hires we in. I'm talking about if I come up to you and I know if you come up to me and I want you to treat me with respect. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. Mm. Or if I know I wouldn't, yeah, even the dirtiest pre- pre- people with the hives, they still might not want you standing on their couch. No cap. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, I'm not finna come in here and stand on your couch because I know I wouldn't want you to stand on mine. So how do we measure respect? How do we even measure loyalty, like you said? Like, both respect and loyalty. How do we measure that? It's, it, it's really, it's really un, you know, you, you really can't measure. It's on a balance beam. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about trying to, you know, you just tip, you just you gotta balance it out. Damn, it's it's hard, man. It's hard. It's re, it's real hard. How I hard see. is the relationship? Like, what was the relationship? How hard is that? It don't gotta be hard, you know what I'm saying? But even anything with life, you gonna go through it. You like if it ain't you, like. You know, and I hate to talk, but it like it's like death that's that's in life. It's like people, money, success that's in life. like with all that in play, man. It's like everybody who's living, you're gonna go through something. So for you to think everything gonna be peaches, mm-hmm. you got life messed up. Like the ones who like you got to go through something, but you got to learn from it. And long as it's a person that want to learn from it, and that's Putting the work, oh man, I'm I'm with it. Show me a little bit of loyalty, man, and I can we can work something out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's too much of BS, and I don't be with the BS. I be trying to stay away from it. Mm. Yeah, because you get caught up in that cycle. Nah, for real. I, I yo, there's so much to explore in this conversation, man. And um, I hope niggas is listening. Yeah, I hope niggas is listening. Um, is it anything that I guess you didn't feel like you was able to express to y'all fans or y'all supporters that you might have think that she got off of her chest, but you wasn't able to like defend yourself. Yeah, I think uh, the YouTube situation. I hear a lot of people saying, "Oh, you took the YouTube, you took the." No, yeah, no, that ain't how I had. when me and Amy started. I, like, I knew the video. People used to say, y'all need to get a YouTube channel. Y'all need to get a YouTube channel. You know, even my Facebook. She asked, she used to ask me then, like, how your Facebook do so much numbers? <laughs> my YouTube, my Facebook, I started around the same time, you know, because you got a Facebook and you got a Facebook like page. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my Facebook like page, I started building it around the time uh, my YouTube page. I, I created the Amen Mazda show. You feel me? And... Um, so the, the 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 password, the codes, the 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 verification, all was in my email. You know what I'm saying? I was e- even the Amy Mozet password, the backup. Everything is to me. You feel me? So during the situation when it happened, I got uh, uh, I can show you. You know, after we get, I can show you whatever. But it was a message like, are you trying to log into the uh, change the code or try, log into the YouTube or something like that? I hit no. It popped up again. I hit no, you know. So I'm like, fuck, you know what I'm saying. And at this point, you know, leaving this situation, like I said, she was already. She got hers. You feel me? I can understand. So it's like, shit. What you trying to? What you got going on? What you? What you got going on? So I'm like, man, I'm finna go and change the password. Cause if anything, I ever it go, shit. She got her in. Hell, I, I feel like I do deserve this. You feel what I'm saying? I started it. It's in my email. Uh, so I changed the password, and uh, from there, I got a call, you know, talking about, you know, if I don't do this, that, and the third, you know, my pages and stuff was going to get, the, you know, like, you know, like, you know, comfort me. And I know she was probably angry for me, you know, explaining myself during the situation, because I feel like I had done, lost, you know, everything. You feel what I'm saying? Everything that I done built, everything that I done all the sacrifices and everything that I did in silent, you know what I'm saying? It's like now nah, with me leaving, 
like well now what how so how you get this and you get that well shit, we did put it to the world so hell here you go mm. this how you know this what this what it was you know what i'm saying and so through relationships and when you gotta when you when you want to make points and you up what's bigger point than separating and i got it and you don't mm. you feel what i'm saying but you know I done been through this all my life. I'm hungry for it. I love it. Like I love, you know, just being, hell, even to be in this position right now, you feel me? Like I'm prepared for it all. I done already been prepared for it. God. Question. Seeing all the turmoil that you guys went through because y'all had a public relationship, if not getting back with Amy, would you ever do the whole public relationship again? Yeah. You would do the whole YouTube and everything again? Yeah, cause even everything you seen then it was me. Like if it like it ain't, I, I'm gonna be me regardless. So yeah, if the camera's on, yeah, it, it can still work. You know, like I ain't saying it ain't gonna work. I ain't saying it won't work. You feel me? Like she told you, she told yeah, me. Nah, she was, what she said? Yeah, if we get by together, <laughs> I don't give a damn who say what and this, that, and the third. You feel what I'm saying? That my dog at the end of the day. I you feel, like feel y'all, me? Y'all in communication right now to get back together. We've been chatting. I feel like, you know what I feel like? I'm going to give you something good on your own. <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime it right now. <laughs> FaceTime it right now. That's all I love. Nah, that ain't what I'm talking <laughs> about. FaceTime it right now. I, I don't, I don't, you know. It, FaceTime it, it right now. It's some good things. It's some good things. I'm going to give you my opinion, my two cents. I feel like y'all already fucking with each other, right? But y'all taking it slow and y'all ain't going back public just right now because I just want to make sure y'all good. Oh, nah. I'm, nah. I'm wrong? Nah. You capping or I'm wrong? <laughs> nah. Nah, what? It's, it's, oh, nah, like, don't get it twisted. I'm focusing on me. Okay. You feel me? So, we done been chatting, you know what I'm saying? And we done been kicking it. I ain't gonna say, you know, like. <laughs> oh, y'all was. I ain't gonna say kicking it. Oh, y'all I went and seen them. We done had conversations. <laughs> y'all was on some grown up time. Yeah, we had some grown up. <laughs> <laughs> we men. Hell yeah, yeah. Shit. Like you said, we, we men. We had some grown up time. You know how that go. You know how that go. You know how that go. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. We had some grown up time. Hey, it, 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 hey. Nah, 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 nah. I need that. No. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, so at the end of the day, though, it, it, it just go to show me to keep going. Because, you know, you know what you got into from the door. So you going to face something right now tell her you love her? I ain't going to do it because she ain't do it. But that was earlier, though. Nah, it shit changed. Ah! Shit cha- it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole month. It shit changed. Like, shit, cha- <laughs> shit changed. I don't even got my phone. I'm about to say hi. I know what I will do. What you going to do? I go live, and I send her a request, and if she go live right now, if she come live, go live. With let me. me see. Huh? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. It. Let's do the YouTube thing. What <laughs> they gotta do? You like, subscribe. I'm new to this. Go <laughs> rocking out with you. I'm showing you the real black no love. Cap. Like this though, I'm gonna rock out with. And no she, it's up to her though. You know what I'm saying? We then we finishing up now too. It's up to her. We finna. We finna. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 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 get it popping. Let's get it popping. Let's see. This is a Jay Hill exclusive. This is a Jay Hill exclusive. We finna see what's going on. Finna, let's see. Let's see. We finna see if Lulu rock. This how we gonna end. This how we gonna end the, 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 the pod. This how we gonna end. This how we gonna end. Cause the tape, the tape is out right now. I refuse to lose all platforms. You know, I want y'all to go check that out. Start getting in my vibe. Cause you will hear a lot of of me. Don't sleep on me. Cause you will get woke up. No cap. Soon and 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 you gonna you know you gonna be disappointed. So go ahead and get tuned, get in tune right now while you can. My tape done drop on all platforms. I refuse to lose. YRD on my YouTube channel, Miles is Modern Live. We almost at 100K views in two weeks. I need y'all to go stream that right now. Send, this, send, send, that, send that request. Show it to the camera. No cap. I ain't going to record it because I'm going to save it when I drop it. I ain't going to record it. Matter of fact, AT, 
Pass my phone, T. Pass my phone, T. No, no, let me do it. 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 She put hard on your ass in my face, huh? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of this. I had a, I had a try for you, you know. You made it, yeah, hey. Not some real nigga I'm shit. Send one more. I'm send it again. I'm a, I'm a FaceTimer. Okay, you do that then. You do that. Then I say my number. Shit. Damn. You got it. It's enough. Ah. Shit. Shit. It's shit. Enough. Hey, make sure y'all go check out that tape, man. It's out right now. You know what I'm saying? All streaming platforms. I refuse to lose. YRD at 100K views. By Sunday. There we go. Block party Sunday. Riverdale, 5449 Riverdale Road. Block party. You know, the night we had privilege with it. It's one of them. It's the big one. She didn't even answer your cards. You know me. I told her I had the interview too. So if she don't answer, she know the interview going on. Oh wow! Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was the first time being in the rain though. It might answer. She might answer. Damn, she fucked it up. She fucked it up. Damn, she yeah. I tried. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I tried it for you, though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I tried to give you that. You feel me? I tried. I'm going to just stay live just in case. We're going to stay live. We're going to stay just live. stay live just in case anything happens. Yo, is there anything else? We, did we miss anything? Nah, we ain't missing nothing, man. You just heard, you know, my side. You know what I'm saying? You heard our side. It ain't nothing to try to put together. It so when we, we going to see it come back together, we going to see the next video on YouTube. I ain't gonna say you know how soon that's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's coming soon. I'm working. I refuse to lose. Ah, right now. You know what I'm saying? So trench that mean, work. I'm you, in the trenches making this shit work right so now. So that means you in the trenches trying to get your your, your shit back together. Well, I'm 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 focused on me. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. I know no I know my love life and what I had. So I know what I feel like would be best for me. You feel what I'm saying? But Major at love. this moment, I'm focusing on me. Shit what going the future hoes. Who knows? Who knows? What the future hoes? Who knows? Who knows? Yo, <laughs> big Mozzie in this motherfucker, bro. Mozzie GA, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Yo, I appreciate you for blessing yeah. the uh, platform. And I appreciate you for having hey, me. Hey, we gonna, we gonna do this more often. Yeah, we can do another one. We gonna do another yeah. one. Whenever you're ready, we can do it tomorrow. You want to do no it? No cap. <laughs> I'm gonna try to fuck with you tonight too, cause y'all going to the club. Yeah, privilege. I'm gonna try, up, I'm gonna try man. You, 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 yeah, pull up. My What's dog, Mozzie G A J Hill J Hill podcast is right. We out. <laughs>